Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use some Playmaker actions on UI text, UI input field, UI button, and UI drop down game objects. Here in our scene, we have some UI objects such as input field, text, button, and drop down. In case you want to add a UI game object to your scene, right click in the hierarchy window. Go to UI and click on the game object you want. We want our input field game objects to accept only decimal numbers and limit input to a maximum of 5 characters. To begin with, we want to sum the values entered in the input fields and display the result when the button is clicked. We first get the value entered in the first input field using the UI input field get text as float action and we will store the input in a global variable called input1. Because every frame is checked, the value in this variable will be updated every frame. Any change to the input will be updated on the variable too. As for the second input field, we'll use a slightly different approach. We'll first use the UI input field on value change event action to listen for an entry or a modification to the input text. When there is a change in the input value, a finished event is sent which transitions to the set variable state. There we store the text in a global variable called input2. On our button game object is where we will do the addition when it is clicked. In the listening state, let's use the UI click event to initiate a transition to the addition state. In the addition state, in the action list, we first set the float variable called result to zero, sum the input one and input two values and store in result, and then finally display the sum in the result text game object. Let's test the results. Now that everything is fine, let me tell you one thing about variables. An FSM can have a local variable and a global variable, both with the same name. But when this happens, the local variable will be used instead of the global variable. Currently, we have two global variables, input1 and input2. You can right-click on a variable to see where it is used in your project. On the input field1 game object, 
let's create a local variable called input1. Now that a local variable with the same name has been created, see the usage count for the input1 global variable. When we enter play mode, the result is not what we are expecting. Why? Because the value of input field 1 was placed into the input1 local variable and not the input1 global variable. Deleting the local variable will give us the right result. Let's continue. This time we want to perform subtraction and multiplication in addition to the addition. We'll use a drop down UI game object to assist. We first populate the drop down game object with three items, addition, subtraction, and multiplication. The options item lists are indexed starting from zero. So addition, which is the first item has an index number of zero, subtraction one, and multiplication two. We will store the selected index value in a global integer variable called item index. Now watch carefully how I integrate it into our existing work. Finally, we need to decide on which of the computations to perform when the compute button is clicked. In the decide computation state, we will use the int switch action to compare the item index global variable against some values and send the corresponding event.
Now let's test and see. The last thing to consider is to change the operator sign to match the computation. We will do so on the drop down game of just FSM. Now everything is fine. This is where we come to the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.